Hey y'all, welcome to sixth grade chapter eight, lesson eight. We're gonna go ahead and get started with number two. So it's giving you the equation that P is less than zero. Well, it's telling you that P is four, okay? Well, that means it's saying that four is less than zero. Well, we know that's not true, so it's going to be not a solution, okay? All we have to do is solution or not a solution, guys, okay? So, this says that y is less than or equal to negative 1, okay? So that's saying negative 1 is less than or equal to negative 3. Well, when you're dealing with negative numbers, the closer to 0 you are, the bigger the number is, which means this one is bigger, not a solution, okay? Okay, so this one says that u is bigger than negative one half where u is equal to zero. Well, any time that the other number is a negative number, zero is gonna be bigger. So u being zero means zero is bigger than negative one half. Well, that's true, so solution, okay? Okay, so you guys are gonna do that through number nine, okay? We are going to go down to number 10, and it says to give two solutions to the inequality. So we just need to find two numbers that make the sentence true, okay? Well, this is says that k is smaller than 2. So we just need two numbers that are less than 2. So we could say k is equal to 0, or we could say k is equal to negative 2. You could say k is equal to negative 50. It doesn't matter as long as it's smaller than 2, okay? Now this one says that z is bigger than or equal to negative three. So z could be negative three because it's bigger than or equal to, or z equals zero. Z would be bigger than negative three then, okay? You guys do number 12. We're gonna go down and do number 13, okay? So the inequality of s is larger than or equal to 92 represents the score S that Jared must earn on his next test to get an A on his report card. Give the two possible give two possible scores. So we're doing exactly the same thing here. And it says S is bigger than or equal to 92. So S could equal 92. S could equal 95. S could equal anything 92 or bigger. Okay, the inequality M is smaller than or equal to $20 represents the amount of money that Sheila is allowed to spend on a new hat. Give two possible money amounts that Sheila could spend on a hat. So anything $20 or so from $20 to $0 because you can't spend negative money. So okay, so now M could be equal to $20. M could be equal to 19, 18, whatever. M equals, let's say, $16, okay? Could be anything from zero to 20, okay? All right, we're gonna go into the back where you guys are gonna go ahead and handle the lesson check because you totally can. You're brilliant. And we are going to do this power review, okay? It says, what is the value of eight plus 27 divided by nine squared? Well. So before we deal with the exponent, we have to deal with parentheses. Let's write some dots up there so that we remember. So we're going to rewrite our problem right here. Okay. So I have to deal with this first, which means that I still have to keep the rest of it, okay? Well, nine goes into 27 three times, okay? So now I took care of my parentheses, boom. I have an exponent though. Well, my eight doesn't go anywhere just because my exponent's there. So three squared or three times three is nine. Now I'm just left with addition and subtraction and eight plus nine is 17. Right? 
write your work down, guys. All right. Let's do. All right. Write an expression the equivalent is equal to. Well, if I take that five and I distribute it onto those, then I will get 15x plus, because I keep that plus sign, 10z. Not so bad. Okay. All right. Tina bought a t-shirt and sandals. The cost was $41.50. The t-shirt cost $8.95. The equation 8.95 plus C equals 41.50 can be used to find the cost C in dollars of the sandals. How much did the sandals cost? Well, all right. So I'm going to do 8.95 plus C equals 41.50. Okay. Well, in order to get C alone, I have to do the opposite of that take away okay that way my 895 cancels out and whatever I did to that side I have to do this side okay well zero can't take away five so I'm gonna borrow one making it ten ten take away five is five four can't take away nine fourteen take away nine is five zero can't take away eight 10 minus 8 is 2, and then bring that 3 down, so 32.55. Don't forget your dollar sign. That is your label right now. Okay. Two-thirds of a number is equal to 20. What's the number? Well, two-thirds of a number is 20. Okay, I could have just put two thirds in. I put a multiply, see that's the key that we were going to be doing divide for the opposite so that they would cancel out. Okay, I'm gonna rewrite that one. Keep, change, flip. Okay. 2 goes into 2 once, 2 goes into 20, 10 times. 10 times 3 is 30 over 1. My answer is 30. All right, guys. Good job. Thanks for hanging out for 8.8. .8. Come on back for 8.9. See you soon.